It's time for our weekly conversation with Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. This is Ask the Lawyer as we explore the law with a man who knows a lot about it. And 50 plus years in the Southwest Florida area serving the legal community. And after submitting questions from you, he goes through them, selects one for the week. We've got one to answer here right now. Maybe it's yours. Would you please help me welcome Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. Good morning, Bruce. Hey, good morning, Tide. How are you this beautiful morning? Just fine. How are you doing? I'm doing great and getting ready for Memorial Day. Yeah, holiday weekend. We can all kind of take a breath. And let's not forget, especially on Monday, to uh, take a moment to think about our fallen heroes. Yes, we do that every uh, Memorial Day. We have a workout called Murph that honors the fallen heroes. Good, good. It, it, I think it's great if you happen to know a veteran uh, that's, um, you know, your friends or family, your circle of friends or your family, then thank them for their service on Monday. I think that's a good thing to do, too. Well, Absolutely. Bruce, we have a, a tragic incident that comes up as the question of the day. Uh, could have been worse, but but still, somebody who is desperate for your help, and it involves a small child. So let's get right into it, okay? Yes, sir. I'm ready. All right. The question reads as follows. My wife and I are devastated over the accidental shooting of our six-year-old son at a neighbor's house. Our family has been friends with our neighbor for years, but we were unaware they kept firearms in the house, apparently unsecured. The neighbor's son got a hold of a handgun and fired it, hitting my son in the shoulder. The mom, who was home then, immediately called the police, and my son was taken to the emergency room with life-threatening wounds. Fortunately, he is now recovering, but we need additional surgeries to repair his shoulder and a lot of physical and mental therapy. The police are investigating and may file charges against the family. The medical bills are enormous. Our neighbors are going through a divorce and the mother lost her job, so they can't help us financially. Can a lawyer do anything? Oh, boy, that is, a, that is one I don't think we've covered before in all the years we've been doing this, Bruce. What do you make of that? Well, it's a tragic situation, um, and we know that guns are the number one killer of young children. Mm -hmm. um, I have two grandchildren. One four one seven, and this a major issue. Um, before we let the grandkids go to a friend's house or stay overnight, we make sure that either the family doesn't have any guns, mm -hmm. or they have them in a locked container. Okay, and um, that's what should have happened in this case. Oh, sure, and it didn't, and um, those people are responsible. Okay. With their financial so, situation as it's described here, though, I mean, they're not going to have out-of-pocket money to help. Well, that that's true, and that, that's where homeowner's insurance comes into play. Ah. It's a negligent action, and hopefully these people, because they seem to own their own home, have homeowner's insurance, and if they do, homeowner's insurance will cover the medical bills, the pain and suffering, the disfigurement, all the elements of damage that are related to this horrific incident. Never even thought about that. I would think in this day and age, insurance companies would have found a way to protect you for, you know, slip and falls, but not for um, a, a gun accident. Well, you know, there there is a difference. If, if the allegation was that he purposely stood there and shot them, right. then it would be an intentional act, uh -huh. and it wouldn't be covered, but this appears to be a negligent act where the young kid got the gun and right. fired it, but he didn't intentionally try to shoot his buddy. Uh. So it should be covered, or it will be covered if there's homeowner's insurance. This has got to be a big relief to whoever sent us this, because I, I, I'm I'm sure they didn't think of insurance either, but all of a sudden they go from a family where there's a divorce, uh, mom lost her job, they don't have the money, you know, in in the home. Now we have insurance companies with deeper pockets to go to. Yeah. But the, um, in, ho hopefully they have homeowner's insurance. Right. They should immediately contact an experienced personal injury lawyer 
and um, they'll be able to help and hopefully get some relief. And that's what I was going to say next is the insurance company is not just going to open their checkbook. It's going to take some uh, professional conversations, let's just say, with a legal professional, and that's where uh, they should head next. Uh, absolutely. They need to contact an experienced lawyer, and he should be able to help. All right. Bruce, thanks again for helping us. I'm sure they have a big sigh of relief coming as they listen to this this morning. As always, we appreciate you weighing in. Have yourself a, a good holiday weekend. Look forward to talking to you next week. Well, thank you, Todd, and I hope all our listeners make sure that, you know, if they have guns, yep. that they keep them in a safe place. Absolutely. Excellent advice. Take care now. Say hi to the family, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you, Todd. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bruce L. Shiner, attorney for the injured. What a tragic situation. And again, can't underscore m- enough. No, no way to underscore enough times how important it is to keep firearms safe from little hands. Now, if you have a question you'd like to submit for Ask the Lawyer, all you have to do is go to our website and put the keyword Bruce in the search box. If you have something that something certainly like this that's more emergent, then please reach out to the Port Charlotte Office of Associates and Bruce Elshiner. 941-743-7777. 941-743-7777. Tell them that Todd Matthews sent you from Kicks Country 92.9. May-